Hey, it's Adam, and in this video, I'm going to share with you seven books that are going to completely shatter everything that you think you already know about life. But these books are also going to be very practical and they're going to help facilitate your journey of self mastery. In fact, I think these are some of the most important books that you can read if you're interested and you're on board with pursuing self mastery. So a lot of people really do not take advantage of all of the amazing, amazing, amazing information that we have available to us at our fingertips in life. In the 21st century, we have the internet where I can Google the best books on any given topic. I can do tons of research for free online and then I can order it on Amazon and have it shipped to my door the next day. So in this information age, I think that it's super, super important that we take advantage of all of the completely life transforming information that is out there. A lot of these books as a warning are going to have to be read by you with a very open mind because some of these books, especially the last one are very, very reality shattering and will cause you a lot of internal mind fuckery if it's not read with an open mind. So the three categories of books that I have on this list of seven books are going to be relationships, career, and spirituality and meditation. So let's get into it right now. First book, The Way of the Superior Man. Now, all of these books uh, that I'm going to be sharing with you are absolutely amazing, totally life transforming. It's not like this is the type of book where, yeah, I learned a couple cool things from it and it was nice and yeah, I, I learned how to do this one thing pretty cool. No, these books completely overhaul your entire paradigm of life. So when you're reading it, it's like every sentence is like, oh my God, what the hell? <laughs> It's absolutely crazy. These are, I've handpicked the highest, highest quality books that I could get my hands on. These books have totally transformed the way that I think, the way that I live everything. So the first book is The Way of the Superior Man. Now this book, I recommend to every single person Whoever asks me, Adam, if you could recommend me one book, what would it be? I always recommend this book, The Way of the Superior Man. Very, very important must read for all men and also a very important read for women as well to understand how men think. This book is going to teach you how to be a true man from a spiritual perspective what it actually means to be a man, what your gift to the world is as a man. It talks about having a purpose in life and being clear about it and following it. And it also talks about how to share your gifts with your intimate partner or your woman and how to deal with all of her craziness in a way that a superior man would deal with the problem. And a, the partner book for the way of the superior man is called Dear Lover. And this is basically the reciprocal of this book. This is the women's version of the way of the superior man. Now, I haven't read the entire book front to back, but I've read a good amount of it. And this has the exact same super, super high quality information. The way that David Data writes is very poetic and very in inspirational. 
these books are absolutely essential for you to read if you want to have any type of successful intimate relationship at all. And on that note, I also have the Enlightened Sex Manual. Sexual Skills for the Superior Lover by David Data. Same guy. This guy is the absolute master of relationships and sexual polarity. And this book, The Enlightened Sex Manual, is taking the first two books from the first one being from the man's perspective, the second one being from the woman's perspective, and that one is just integrating them together. That book will completely transform the way that you see sex. And it's really about realizing that sex is not just for pleasure and it's not just a way to blow off some steam. Sex can go really, really, really deep and can really enliven your relationship, your intimate relationship, but also can be used to actually reach higher states of consciousness and enlightenment. So as a human being, you have sexual organs and it is your duty to read this book and make sure that you're using them properly for your own sake and also for your partner's sake as well. I feel super bad because 99% of people haven't read this book and they're really only on the surface level of sex. They're having very shallow sex where they're missing out on all of the deep, deep, deep sexual experiences that are possible in this human form. So that's all for the relationships and sex category. Next, we're going to move into the, to the career category. And I have Lynchpin by Seth Godin. Now, you may see this book recommended by a lot of people because this book is absolutely amazing for rewiring the way you think about your career. And this book talks a lot about how society is has been grooming you to be a good factory worker basically that's the point of the entire school system is to make you really really good at following instructions seth golden talks about how being a good instructions follower is making you into someone who's dispensable you're like a cog in the machine and you're not very important to your boss Therefore, they can pay you very low and not really care about you. This book is called Lynchpin because the linchpin is the most essential part of the system where if the linchpin is taken out, then the entire system collapses. And in this book, he's telling you how to position yourself as a linchpin in your career so that you can be a creative force and you're not just following your boss's instructions but you're transforming yourself into someone who's indispensable and you will be rewarded creatively so you'll feel a lot more fulfilled with your work and you'll also be rewarded financially as well so this one's a serious must read he talks about a lot of things that hold us back from becoming a linchpin he talks about resistance and the lizard brain. This book is super, super high quality. Next book about career is <clears throat> Mastery by George Leonard. Now, this idea of mastery is super, super important for what we're doing here on this channel. And that's pursuing self-mastery and mastering every single aspect of our life. And self and this book Mastery is teaching you in a very beautiful and concise way everything you need to know about the mastery process. How to take one thing in life and completely master it. He talks about how 
our society is anti-mastery and how most people just want quick solutions, quick fixes. They want to learn things quickly. They don't want to work hard. And this book, Mastery, is the complete opposite of that. It's telling you that in order to be fulfilled in life, you have to master something. Whether it be your creative work, or a martial art, or meditation, or relationships, anything. In order to have any type of fulfillment in life, you have to master something. And the mastery process requires endless practice. This is a super important book. I recommend you read it through multiple times because there's a lot of gold in here. So now we're getting into the spiritual books. In my opinion, these books are some of the most important because they're so foundational and they sh their implications stretch out into all aspects of life. So these spiritual books are going to help you with your career and also with your relationships as well. And it's important that these books are read with a very open mind because the truth is you don't know what's true. You don't, you don't know what's right and what's wrong. It's important to at least consider these perspectives because a lot of these perspectives are extremely profound and life transforming and come from higher states of consciousness that your little monkey brain can't fathom yet. So a lot of these books, you know, at first it, it was kind of a little bit difficult for me to fully wrap my head around the implications and just the concepts that are being spoken about in, in these books but they're also super practical and these books are like food for your soul. So the first one that's extremely important is Ask and it is given. Now this book is about the law of attraction. I don't know what you've heard about the law of attraction and frankly I don't care what you think about the law of attraction being true or real or false or bullshit or this or that. It doesn't matter because this book is absolutely life transforming for getting yourself in this state of manifesting your desires. You have to put yourself in a higher vibrational state by practicing meditation, by practicing gratitude, by paying attention to how you feel throughout the day and by realizing that you are creating your life in every single moment with your mind and with your emotions as well. So if you go throughout your day feeling all angry and negative and holding a bunch of negative thoughts in your mind, you're going to get those exact results in your life. The thesis of this book is that your mind creates reality. Which if you've done any type of spiritual work or have spent at least five minutes thinking about it is absolutely true. All of reality is occurring and being filtered through your mind. And this book, Ask and It Is Given, is filled with tons of exercises and mindsets that are going to help you become a, a, a creator, a conscious creator of your life. So this book is important for attracting more money, more high quality relationships, more well-being, abundance, good positive feelings in your life. This book is life transforming. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And so this last book <laughs> is so good that I, I actually struggle to find the words to explain how amazing and life transforming this book is. It's actually a series. It's three books. It's called Conversations with God by Neil Donald Walsh. 
So this is book two. Book one, I lent to a friend. I have all three books. There's four books in the, in the entire series, but uh, the, the three are like the main trilogy. And I've actually purchased the audio book for this series because it's an actual conversations with God. I've recommended this in my past videos and the, you can get the audiobook for free with an audible credit that you get when you sign up for audible for free. I'm not affiliated with that, but that's a really good idea. You can get this entire book series for free. I bought all three copies on Amazon for like 20 bucks. This is absolutely life transforming information. This book is about a man, Neil Donald Walsh, who is having a conversation with God. And this God is being channeled from a higher source. So channeling is also very present in asking it is given. And this is the idea, which according to my research and my current metaphysical understanding of reality is very possible. This idea to tap into higher consciousness sources of information and to channel information from a source that is not necessarily you. And once you realize that all of reality is one, you start to be more and more open to this idea of channeling because you're channeling the information because the information is there the whole time because you are everything all is one. And when you reach higher states of consciousness, you will start to notice thoughts coming. So like, let's say you do some acid or, or some mushrooms or have been practicing meditation for many years, you'll start to notice that the source of your thoughts is not you, but it's, it's coming from a mystical place. So Neil Donald Walsh channels God, who is everything, the creator of all things, not separate from his creation, but actually one with his creation. And this book literally has the answers to all of life. This book talks about religion and how all the problems and that have been caused with religion. This book talks about how to be happy in your life. This book talks about how as a race, we've misunderstood and misconstrued God and God in this series is very charismatic, very chill, relaxed, very relatable. And <laughs> the ideas in this book are absolutely crazy. He, God talks about creating enlightened societies in, in the future, thousands of years in, in advance. This information, I don't know how Neil Donald Walsh got this information. The only way I can explain it is how he explains it is by channeling. But this conversations with God dialogue aligns perfectly with all of my other studies into spirituality and non-duality. And as you start to read more books and explore broader perspectives of spirituality and metaphysics, you'll see that much, if not all of what God says about itself and the world is true and is also verifiable for you in your direct experience by doing spiritual practices. This, this book is completely unreal. I'd recommend listening to the audio book because it's a conversation and they really did a good job with the audio book, the complete trilogy. Listen to it. You will not be the same afterwards. So those are all the books, all seven books. I'm going to leave you with a couple closing points, a couple of practical considerations 
that you should keep in mind when you're reading books. First of all, you should always read with a pen. Always have a pen with you and underline the important passages, things that speak out to you. Write in the margins. Don't be scared to write in your books. Write in them. Write, underline everything. Because then when you go back and reread it, which you will have to, because all of these books are not just like you read once and then put them down and forget about it. These books are study guides. They're manuals. They're like university textbooks. You study them. Take notes on them. Underline inside them everything. So always read with a pen. Me personally, if I'm reading a book and I don't have a pen, I put the book down. I actually can't read without a pen. I need a pen. Very, very important. Next is don't be cheap with buying books. A lot of my friends, I tell them, I say, yo, this one book will completely change your entire relationship. Your relationship, it's not going too well right now, but if you read this book, it'll completely transform your entire relationship and, and you, you'll live happily ever, ever after. And my friends say, yeah, that's cool, right? How much is it? I'll be like 20 bucks. They'll be like, ah, 20 bucks. I don't, I don't know if, it's kind of, don't you think you can lend it to me or, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll uh, try and see if I can see it, find it at the library. Yo, <laughs> it's 20 bucks to change your entire life. Don't be cheap with books. People will spend $100 on a white t-shirt, but they won't spend $20 on information that is going to be paying them dividends for as long as they're alive. Understand that. By reading a book with this type of fundamental information, like how to be a man, not this cartoon caricature of how to be a man, but how to actually be a man in your life, that is going to be paying you dividends for the rest of your existence on earth. What's $20? It, $20, that's, that's a steal. This information is worth thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars but it's 20 bucks and you are too cheap to buy it. Don't be cheap. Look at all the books I have behind me. I spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars on those books because I don't spend my money on expensive shoes. I spend it on books and courses and meditation retreats and sometimes curry because curry is really good. <laughs> so don't be cheap. Next point. Um, I, I, I forget, but have a pen. <laughs> Don't be cheap when you're reading these books. Thank you so much for listening to me. Do not underestimate the power of these books. A lot of people don't realize that by reading one book, they can change the trajectory of their entire life. Don't underestimate the power. By reading these books, you'll be feeding your mind with the right information that you need to self-actualize your highest potential in life, which is the purpose of this channel. So thanks for listening to me. I am going to link these books on Amazon in the description so that you can buy them and read them and study them. Read slowly. Don't, don't rush. There's no rush, but these books will change your entire life if you read and apply what's in them. Thank you so much for listening. You can subscribe for more content about self-mastery and living to your fullest potential as a human being. I talk a lot about personal development and spirituality and I integrate them together. You can leave a like, share this with your friends, comment what you liked, what you didn't like, and I'll see you in the next video.